All right, write settings. Uh, this basically will allow you to do a couple of different default actions for writing blog posts, as well as some advanced blog posting actions. Um, first of all, we're going to cover the size of the post box. So whenever you're posting a new post or page, and you either have a lot of content that you want to do without toggling to the full screen, you want to be able to just adjust, adjust the size of the post box there. Formatting, if you want to convert emoticons to uh, actual images instead of just the emoticons themselves, you can do that here. Um, and a little uh, checkbox here that says WordPress should correctly should correct invalidly nested XHTML automatically. You can check this box to try and keep your uh, WordPress as valid as possible, and it, it ensures a very similar look, look across all the browsers. But if you find that there's certain things that start to break in your theme as a result of you checking that, just sometimes if you uncheck or check this box, it'll fix that theme problem for you. So just something to keep in the back of your head in case you start to see that happening on your blog. Your default post category and link category, basically if you're posting in one uh, section more than any others, you can set a default there and it'll kind of save you a step every time you're posting. Remote publishing. Uh, there's remote publishing software out there that allow you to uh, publish from your desktop and it'll send it to your server automatically. Um, the software will usually give you instructions on how to do this, but whenever whenever that happens, you need to be able to enable it in WordPress itself. And this is the section where you go to do that. Um, there'll be more instructions in your actual software itself that'll let you do that, and you follow those instructions. But this is where you're going to go to be able to enable it in case you're trying to find it. A handy little feature that not many people use, but it's very, very powerful, is the post via email. Basically what it does is it will read an email inbox of your choosing and automatically post content whenever it finds anything. It's a very powerful tool, but has to be utilized properly. You want to set it to a very secret email address that nobody knows about. And, I'm, and not even like an admin or anything like that. Just something that absolutely no one knows and is never used for anything else. So whenever you're sending an email or something like that to that box, it will automatically get published on your blog for you, which is a very powerful tool. The subject will automatically become the title, and the body and the message will automatically become the content of your blog post. And that is posting via email. Update services. This is your pinging services. Uh, things like Pingomatic and uh, Pinggoat and all those different things that will notify search engines and um, linking services and uh, site updating services. All those can be notified every time that you do a post if you put uh, the update service link in here. It's a very useful tool to let the search engines know whenever you've added new content. And that's it for writing.